Welcome back to the Casos YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the two most popular uh, places to distribute your podcast and how to set those accounts up for both Apple and for Google. Uh, if you're a Casos customer, the good news is these are the only two, well, the two majors that you definitely want to create your own accounts for. Uh, and I'll show you how to set that up in a moment. And luckily, we have one-click integration, at least at the time of this recording, to Spotify and Amazon Music. And generally, when you have your podcast verified on Apple uh, iTunes or Apple Podcasts, as it's known now, there are 30 plus different distribution points from around the, around the web that will use the Apple uh, feed link to populate their directories for your show. So generally, you can find it in a bunch of places. There are some other directories that you can submit directly, like TuneIn.fm and iHeartRadio. Uh, those will be in separate videos, not in this video. Okay. For Apple ID, it is free. It will prompt you to put in a credit card. You can bypass that stuff, but you at least need to create your Apple ID account. The page that I have on display here is from their help docs on setting that stuff up, but I'll briefly show you uh, some of the minimum requirements here. So you can use a personal email address or a company address, depending on if you're setting this up for your company. But if you go to appleid.apple.com, uh, the good news is if you're using Safari the, and, and you're using a Mac, it'll prompt you to sign in to the account that's already configured to your uh, to the device that you're accessing this on. But if you wanted to create a new one, one that is not associated with the one you've already created, click on Create Your Apple ID, and then you'd walk through this entire process of setting up. Uh, it's just answering a few of these questions and then verifying your phone number. So it's going to ask for a phone number to be associated to it. It's going to send you an authorization code and uh, that'll verify the actual account. The second piece to that is then you'll have to sign in using something like iTunes, which you can do on your mobile device or on your PC. And that's the second sort of step to verification of the account. There is a part in that process that pops up and it'll ask for your credit card. You can simply click on none. There's an option for none. You will have to put in an address, but you don't have to put in a, a payment form. Right, so creating the Apple ID to set up your podcast is free, okay? It's a free thing. And then once you are ready, you can sign in to podcastconnect.apple.com, or you can see right up here in my browser, podcastconnect.apple.com, and that'll bring you to this screen. And, and this screen is where we'll drop in our podcast RSS feed to be verified uh, by Apple. So if we went into our Castos account, and then we went to settings under our podcast that we're trying to submit, and then clicked on distribution, you can see right here in the dark uh, dialog box, podcast, public podcast RSS feed. You can simply copy this link by clicking the, the link icon, and then bringing it in here and pasting it. Now, I'm not going to submit this one because this is a, an actual podcast of mine. Uh, and all you have to do here is click on validate. And if you've done everything correctly from all of the other uh, guidance that we've provided you, it'll authorize just fine. Moving over to Podcast Manager, you'll have to create a Gmail address, uh, a Google account, in order to sign up for the uh, Google Podcast Manager. We'll click on Start Now. I'll assume that you already have that created. You can create another account or use one that you've already set up. I'm going to use my company one and hit next. And just like Apple, it's going to put you right into the enter a podcast RSS feed dialog box. Again, you can grab that right here in your account. It's the same feed uh, for both platforms. And you would paste that in here and move on to the next step. It'll preview it. You can verify it. It'll send you an email address to finalize the account creation. Um, and then it'll do an automated verify ownership. Both platforms can take anywhere between 24 to 72 hours. Sometimes it can take longer. It really depends on what's happening on both Apple and Google's side. So if you're planning on launching a podcast, you know, th uh, two days away from the weekend and you're making a big splash about it, uh, give yourself probably at least a week's uh, lead time before you really announce it. And Apple will require you to have at least two episodes published uh, in your Castos account before it gets approved. So it's going to want to see uh, at least two episodes in here in order for it to be approved through their uh, verification process. If you're trying to just submit this 
and uh, you don't have an episode yet because you're thinking, hey, I just want to get it submitted and then I'll upload episodes. You can't do that. You have to have at least two episodes uh, for Apple to to verify that. And I believe Google might be one, uh, one or two. So either way, most people, what they'll do is they'll create a trailer, a quick little two minute intro to what that podcast is going to be about. And then they'll have their you know, full on uh, episode podcast to go and they'll upload both of those to Castos before they begin. So that's creating the two accounts. Both accounts are required for you to get your podcast distributed on Apple. There is no one click direct integration with Apple and Google through Castos at this time. So you have to create those accounts for free. The good news is they're free <laughs> and then you can just set that up. If you have neither, probably the best bet is to create your Gmail account through Google and then use that same email address if you don't have an Apple ID and you just want to sort of consolidate everything. I would just create one new Gmail address for your podcast. And then that way you can activate Google Podcast Manager and the iTunes Connect uh, dashboard all under one email address and, you know, keep things a little bit organized for you. I hope you found today's video useful. If you have any questions for us, send us an email. Hello at Castos.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the Castos YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Castos.